You know, and recently Harry O got out of prison. Yeah. And there's actually a picture, and we'll go ahead and show it. It's him and Dr. Dre hanging out together. Now? Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. I dig it. But me and Harry O actually spoke. That brother is a businessman, and he just got caught up in a twist. Uh, I applaud him. He out. He's he's trying to get his life together. Mm-hmm. What's what's left? He now mind you, this man has been in prison for a very long time. Yeah, haven't touched, haven't seen, haven't did anything in a very long time. I, I you know, I, when he was supposed to get out and Suge was on the street, I said it's gonna be a bad thing if Harrier would have got out with Suge on the street. It would have been a problem. Really. I think Suge couldn't walk the streets after the bullshit he played, no. Yeah, but Harry O's much older now, man. He don't want to go back to prison. Uh, I can understand that. You know, I I don't see the two of them really getting into it. There was a lawsuit, which Harry O, I believe, won. Yeah. Right? You know. Well, I think if he was on the street, Suge would have paid him. But there's a code of ethnic. There's a there's a... Come on, man. If 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 Harry would have got out, and I can't speak for him, but I don't think Sugar would have paid him. He wouldn't have had no choice but to pay him. And I just say it would have been bad blood. Um, you know, we go from being business partners, from talking to to chopping it up on the phone every other day, to don't answer the phone for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. So so let's just kind of get into the story a little bit. Harry O allegedly financed Death Row Records. Yes. Right. There was also another guy involved. I mean, the the story I heard, I think, I think from Reggie Wright, uh, and me and me and Keefe touched on this in our interview. There was actually like a a much higher guy that uh, you know they call Boss Man, uh, who basically put up the real money, and Harry O was sort of the the go between. I mean, who knows what really happened? You know, that guy went to prison, got out. He doesn't want nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? So so Harry O was essentially the face of that. And, you know, after helping out with the seed money to launch Death Row, uh, you know, there was a special phone in the studio, I guess, at Solar Records studio. Yeah, the red phone, yeah. The red phone that he would call to speak to Suge or, or whoever else at Death Row to basically overlook his uh, his operation. Right. The whole thing with, um, you know, those guys, the, the the producers who ended up, you know, talking on the phone and then Suge and a pistol whipping him. <laughs> that was all over that same phone. It all goes back to the Harry O story. You know, and ultimately by him pistol whipping these guys when he ended up kicking uh, Orlando, that's why he got sent back to prison because he was still on probation from that situation. Right. So Harry right. O's story runs deep into the whole death row. All of it, all the way, d- d- all death the row. way with- uh, like, have you? Did you ever actually talk to Harry O at all, or no? No. Okay, so that no. was Chug's thing. Yeah. But, but there was a, a hard, fast rule. That, okay, this is the phone. Yeah, that's the phone. That that's the phone that he talked to him on. Yeah. Yeah. At what point did did Chug say, you know, something? Fuck, fuck this agreement. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna honor anymore with Harry O. I believe when he came and felt like the boss. I believe, you know. When the money started, when he started seeing his money, that's when, you know, we had a different Suge night. Um, when Suge put himself on that pedestal, it was pretty much fuck everything and everybody. He was doing him and the way he wanted to. He was the boss. So I think when he started denying certain individuals and, and felt there was no need to give this individual or that in- individual uh, monies for a certain individual. He started running into problems. Well, and there you have it. And then a lawsuit happened. And uh, ultimately, Suge lost because he didn't show up to court. He, he lost a lot of his cases because he didn't show up. He lost death row because yeah, he didn't show up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Up. Well, he lost death row. Yeah. Because of the whole Harry O thing and so forth, and ultimately, it all got auctioned off, and now what, Mattel Toys Man, owns you know, it or something. I want to say this, Vlad, and a lot of people don't believe that people have hidden agendas. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Suge never used drugs. Suge never smoked nothing. Suge never did anything pertaining to alcohol, tobacco, nothing. Hmm. Well, uh, he smoked cigars. Yeah. Well, now he do. Now he he just got into that. The drinking, I never seen Suge drink the way he did. Hmm. And using different, using drugs, um, that was his demise. That what took him down because he wasn't sharp right here no more. He wasn't thinking no more. Hmm. You know, he just got too relaxed into him and did the same thing Tupac did, whether people realize it or not. He wanted to be a part of the goddamn homie situation, the security. Hmm. And he should have stayed the business manager, the CEO. He should have held on to his title opposed to start doing all the extra shit. And shit would have been all right. But the alcohol and all that shit fucked his mind up.